The United Nations headquarters in the Gaza Strip is in ruins. One by one, the warehouses are going up. We're now trying to build a buffer zone between the warehouses and the offices to try and stop the offices. We've lost all our food and all our medicine to this fire. Israel's three-week offensive against Hamas in Gaza is inflicting a devastating blow to the Palestinian population. Thursday's attack set fire to thousands of pounds of food and humanitarian supplies intended for refugees. I conveyed my strong protest and outreach to the defense minister and the foreign minister and demanded a full explanation. The compound had only recently become a makeshift shelter for 700 Palestinian civilians. Israel's prime minister says troops shelled the site after Hamas militants opened fire from the location. A UN official there at the time called that claim nonsense. Hamas that controls Gaza Strip is an obstacle not only for Israel, but in the way for the Palestinians to create a state of their own. They are responsible to the situation in Gaza to the loss of life of Palestinians as well, and to the humanitarian situation in Gaza as well. The Israeli military continues to push farther into Gaza, putting pressure on Hamas. <sighs> Ground forces are sending terrified residents fleeing for cover. Shells struck a hospital and several high-rise apartment buildings. About 1,100 Palestinians have been killed, roughly half of them civilians. 13 Israelis have been killed since the offensive began December 27th. So far, both Israel and Hamas refuse to budge from their ceasefire demands. Israel wants a guarantee that Hamas will completely halt rocket fire into Israel. Hamas demands a complete Israeli withdrawal and the reopening of its blockaded borders. Meanwhile, the international community is struggling to stop the violence. An Israeli envoy has been sent to Egypt to discuss a ceasefire with Hamas. Diane Kepley, The Associated Press.